Today, we're playing hide and seek, but there's a twist. Instead of picking traditional hiding spots, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin are camouflaged with their surroundings. A friend of mine set them up in the most camouflaged hiding spots around this billion dollar mansion, and I have to find them and hunt them down. And whoever I find first gets their car destroyed, and whoever I find last wins one million dollars. I'm also looking for some inspiration myself, because after this round, I get to hide from the seekers too. Now, this is really tricky, because they could literally be anywhere. Although I'm pretty sure they are not camouflaged enough to blend in with this wall. If they are, we'll see them if we look down the side. Yeah, they're definitely not against this wall. <laughs> I can take that off the list. Michael, are you in there, buddy? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna throw a grenade in there, and if he is, we'll find out in a second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is not allowed, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yet there's no one in the bush. All right, beautiful. Now, this guy's got some really nice supercars. If I wanted to camouflage myself, I would get inside the car and pretend I'm a seat or something inside the car. This would be a really good hiding spot. No one's in this one. Hmm, this is really tricky, dude. Okay, now I'm in this car. Let me just take a look at the others. Anyone in the other cars? Yeah, there is no one in those cars. I can see through the windshield and every single one of them is empty. We wouldn't be hiding underwater. There's no way they can breathe. What about this bush as well? Am I gonna have to check every single bush? Trevor, you in here, buddy? I'm pretty sure Trevor wouldn't be in a bush. It's not like him to be hiding in these things. This is really tricky. I mean, they could be on the roof. This place is huge. Like, they could be anywhere. What about behind this hedge? Nope, not behind this hedge. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna use a gun <laughs> because I am not searching every single bush and every single patch of grass. I really want to find my first person so I can see what I'm working with. Like, when he said they were camouflaged, I don't know what he meant. Ooh, okay. This is kind of cool. Pretty good place to hide. Now, if I was hiding in the tennis court, I wouldn't lie on the ground. That's a stupid idea. If anyone is in the bush, get out now if you want to survive. <laughs> All right, there is no one in the bushes behind me. What about in this bench over here? Okay, no one on that bench either. Oh, hang on. Check it out, guys. I can go over this hedge. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, wait. I I think I found somebody. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I don't even know who this is, but I found my first person. Uh, hello? <laughs> I need to see who this person is. No way. I found Franklin. <laughs> you barely look recognizable, buddy. I mean, you covered yourself from head to toe in dirt. That's impressive. That's a really good hiding spot. And considering Franklin is camouflaged like dirt, now I know what I'm up against. This is going to be really tricky. Any idea where they are, Frank? No, he's not telling me. All right, fair enough. Well, <laughs> I'm waiting to destroy your car, buddy. I will see you at the end. No million dollars for Franklin. That's an awesome hiding spot. I got to take some notes because I might use the hiding spot myself after this round. But I found Franklin hiding in dirt, so that means they could be hiding in a hedge. I mean, that's my go-to if you think about it. If you're trying to be camouflaged, can you even go inside this bush? Yeah, you can go inside. Alright, there's no one in here. Let me just check these two as well. Franklin was hiding in dirt. That's crazy. I have to check every single patch of dirt now to make sure there is no one else hiding in there. Alright, there's no one in that. Anyone in here? Nope, no one in there. Nobody in here. There's so many tiny any hedges. Like, this is perfect if you just want to lie down and hide away from the seeker. Hang on a minute. There is a corner over here, which I'm pretty sure they won't expect me to check out. I mean, this is the emptiest corner of the mansion. There's just a couple of trees and this wall, which is the exact same color as you go across the whole thing. I'm pretty sure someone is hiding against this wall. I don't see any heads, no blinking, no fingernails. I mean, even Franklin had, like, some black things on his gloves, so I I'm pretty sure we'd find little details Often they can't be invisible, right? That would be tricky. No, they can't be invisible. All right, they're, they're definitely not along this wall and they're not in this hedge. But you know what I'm thinking? Hiding in the bar. All right, come on. It's the bar. There's places to hide in there. Maybe there's someone in the fridge. Maybe they're even hiding on the straw roof. I mean, that's a pretty good hiding spot to camouflage in. Nope, nobody hiding on the roof. But it was worth a shot. How about behind the bar? Like, let's take a look. Anyone blending in with the sodas in the fridge? I would love to do that. I would have refreshments. I would have food. I would stay here until someone found me, but no one is hiding it in here. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go and check out inside the cave. This is also a fantastic spot if you think about it because it's hidden away from all elements. We've got basketballs in this cave. All right, that's kind of strange, but I don't see anyone else around here. Nope, nobody in the pool. What about behind this rock? That's a big rock. There is a gap behind the rock, but that wouldn't technically be camouflaged, but I need to check out behind the rock anyway. Is there anyone behind here? Anyone? No, okay, no one behind the rock. That sucks, dude. Where are they? This is so hard. I'm still looking for Michael and Trevor, right? They haven't just done a run of 
from this mansion. Like, they, they are definitely here, right? They've got to be here. They've got to. I mean, th could they be hiding underwater? It's a possibility. Maybe one of them's got a snorkel. Maybe they've even got an oxygen tank. Who knows? It could be <gasps> anywhere under this bridge. Oh, uh, come on. That's that's a great spot, dude. There's no one under this bridge. There is no one. That was such a good spot. Come on. If I don't find them soon, we're going to run out of time, and these guys are going to win, and I can't afford for that to happen. So I will check every bush, every hedge, every green thing in this mansion, because I am confident they are hiding in one of these. If I had to camouflage for something, it's gonna be in a bush. Let's be honest. It's gotta be in a bush. Come on, Ma. We can find them. We can find them, dude. We can find them. I love how I'm just shooting at these bushes. And if we hit something, then I found them. I just realized there's even balconies on this mansion. Oh, my days. Can they get into the balcony? Is that possible? If they can't climb to it, they're not gonna be there. Okay, they're not gonna be on that balcony. But this is another dark corner. Just got some dustbins over here. This is a pretty good place to camouflage. Paint yourself in red and blue. You'll be sorted for a little bit. Nope. 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 Okay, they're not around here, but again, this would be a great spot. Think about it, guys. Out of the way, hidden, camouflaged, and I'm pretty much back to where I started, so I'm gonna go back in the garden and just keep looking. I've searched the entire garden, but I've just realized I haven't been on top of the cave. That is a perfect spot. It's taken me 20 minutes to literally figure that out. You can climb on the cave, right? I, I don't think I've actually tried to climb on top of this cave. I, somehow, I played this game for 10 years, and I haven't even... Oh, my days. Yeah, Lamar. <laughs> we gotta figure out a way to climb this thing, dude. Come on. You can definitely climb this. They are hiding on top of here. I know they are. This is so ideal to be camouflaged. If Franklin was hiding his dirt, all they gotta do is hide as a rock or a little bush or something like that. I right, no one in these bushes. What about in these? Oh, come on. Come on. They've done a runner. I'm convinced they've done a runner. They are not in these bushes. I don't see them on here either. They, they have so done a runner. Okay, that's it. I'm using my sniper and we're taking a look around at other things. Come on. I am not just gonna search around this entire place to try and find them. What are you even looking for, dude? They are hiding in such a good spot. I didn't think it would be this hard to do. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on, you guys have got to be a, a brat. Wait, hang on. I think I just killed. Did I just shoot something? Guys, someone was hiding in this bush. <laughs> Kidding. I looked at it with a sniper and I didn't see anything. Oh my days. Are you kidding? <laughs> that is the best camouflage ever. You are hiding as a bush. I knew it. Someone had to do it. I mean, it is the easiest way to hide. Michael, are you kidding? Is that you? It's... Michael was found next, which means Trevor's the winner. But I still have no idea where he is. Except now I've been given a clue and Trevor is somewhere in this area. Okay, that should be easy enough because there's not actually many hiding spots to camouflage in here. There's a couple of bushes, which I've already checked. There's some deck chairs. Oh, could you imagine if Trevor was just lying down on a deck chair? <laughs> just watching everything unfold? <laughs> He's definitely not in those. Yeah, Trevor is not sitting down, enjoying his day, getting a tan. I gotta hand it to him. I was not expecting the hiding spot to be this different difficult to figure out. Is that, is that a rubber ring? Is Trevor hiding in a rubber ring? That... <laughs> That would be amazing. He's not. No, he's not. There's there's no one in here. Is this just a decoy? Why is there a rubber ring in here? Come on. Are you kidding? Great. All right. I honestly thought I found him then. He was just hiding in a rubber ring. Okay, that's it. I'm going back in the cave because there was like a pile of basketballs there, which was kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure they're normal. I'm just going to go and take a closer look because I need to just double check this. There was no one hiding behind the rock. Hang on. That's moving. The basketball is moving. Oh, you <laughs> Are you kidding right now? Trevor, is that you? Are you? No way. I don't want to believe this. Trevor might be hiding. He's a basketball. He's actually a basketball. I'm not even kidding. He's painted his face to look like a basketball. Come out, Trevor. You're last. You won. I don't believe this. I actually don't believe this. I searched behind the rock and I didn't see him. That is such a good spot, Trevor. Congratulations. Here's your million dollars. And I'm sorry to say this, Frank, but your car is getting destroyed. Hey, you even look pretty camouflaged with your driveway, too. <laughs> sorry. Maybe next time, don't go for a camouflage which matches sand on dirt. <laughs> I mean, if you were in a sand pit, Frank, you would have done really well. He blends in perfectly. This is bizarre. But now it's time for round number two, where I have to hide all three characters 
and the last one standing is the winner. But this time, the seeker won't just be a random person, aka me, it's gonna be a professional police officer. Let's see what we can do with Michael first. I'm keeping this suit, it's the best camouflage ever. I'll do some tweaks with the other guys, but this one, I have a feeling we can win with this suit. Now, Franklin hid down here, so I'm rolling that spot out. I wanna go with somewhere totally new where they definitely won't find me. Nothing too obvious either. I wanna be like out in the open, easy to walk past, not suspicious, you know, keep it on the sly basically. So I could hide in this bush or even better idea, I could go right next to the gate. <laughs> yes, they'll never, oh man, the gate opened. Okay, we're not going near the gate. That is too obvious. Can't exactly go around here. There's not many bushes to hide in. Ooh, guys, I got a really cool idea. Okay, I haven't got long. I am going to hide on top of the man cave. Out of every single spot, I am more than happy to say I will be okay in this. I mean, think about it. It took me 20 minutes to figure out a way up here. It's gonna take the police officer at least 15. We're gonna win this challenge. Now, I've made some adjustments to Trevor's suit. He is camouflaged like water, so we can jump into any swimming pool, and we should be camouflaged just like that. I'm actually kind of excited because I put a lot of effort into this. I really hope this looks like water because I'm not allowed another chance at this. This is my only shot. Oh, whoa. Hang on. I think this might actually work, dude. I'm blending in. This is awesome. Okay, I think maybe I should hide like somewhere around here. So I'm sort of in disguise and make... Okay, that's right next to the tunnel, though. Hang on. What if I go like right in this corner? I, I, I think we'll be fine right in this corner. Oh, my days. That's perfect. Trevor, you can barely even be seen. That's the best camouflage Ever. Oh no, Franklin, you went for the grass option. You, you don't even look the right shade. Okay, this might be a big fail, but I'm gonna try my best to figure out a good spot for him. This is just like the last camouflage costume where they tried to make him look like dirt, but it was actually sand. Dude, this is not even the right color. Oh, come on. Okay, let's find somewhere. I I'm still gonna figure this out. We could still win this, Franklin. Let's go to the greenest bush, the greenest hedge. I don't care. The green is something. Let's just go to the green is something and and we'll figure something out all right buddy what if i try and blend in Ooh, hold on guys i might be able to blend in with these little bushes here there's a patch of grass down there too okay let's see what it looked like in this bush you know what that's not bad it's not the best but it might just about work i'm gonna save this spot for now and try and find a better one just in case i like how this is completely hidden away by these two hedges so we will probably be okay but this is a police officer we're talking about he knows his stuff if i just lie down in the grass it is way too obvious. I stick out like a sore thumb. But this, this is much better. <laughs> Franklin, you look amazing. All right, I genuinely think this has to be the best spot. Come on. I look like an ornament in the hedge. That's beautiful. All right, I'm sorted. Everyone's hidden. Let's see who gets found first. Who do you think? Michael, Trevor, or Franklin? These spots are so well camouflaged. You wouldn't believe it, but we're currently looking at two of the characters, Michael and Trevor. And Franklin is right at the end of the garden in the hedge. But he's off and he's running. So he's taking a look at the supercars first. All right, there's no one around here. Anyone in the cars? You see anybody? He's looking in the window. Have you found anything? Uh, no one's hiding in there. He's taking a long look at that. Nope, he's done with the cars now and he is running into trees. Are you sure this guy's a professional? Okay, so he's running back to the cars now. Another little look at the orange, red, gray, blue. Here we go. Now we're talking. This guy's a sprinter. He's clearing the place. Going down to the tennis court now. He's not gonna find anything there. This is really interesting to watch. This guy knows what he's doing. What are you thinking, mister? Have you seen anything yet? You won't have seen anything. He hasn't even looked where we're hiding. If I use Franklin's first hiding spots, he would be hiding less than five meters away from this police officer. Is he gonna check? Oh, yeah, he's checking. He's checking. I am so glad I did not go for that hiding spot. This guy is looking at every single detail. It's crazy. No stone goes unturned with this police officer. Hey, why is he looking at the cave? Why you look? Don't look at the cave, officer. Don't look at the... That's right. Yeah, you just keep looking back at the tables. <laughs> you just keep doing you, mister. But I'm getting nervous because he's getting even closer to where we're hiding. But finding Michael is gonna be nearly impossible. He's hiding in a bush in a ghillie suit. There is no way he's gonna find us. You stay away from that swimming pool, police officer. You stay far away, mister. He's going in, dude. 
Okay, to be honest, this is a pretty good hiding spot. Hiding in the cave. You're away from people. What are you looking out for? Hey, the basketballs? That was brand new. Trevor added them in the entire set. Even the rocks have gone. Okay, he's looking in the water. I have a feeling he knows that we could be camouflaged in the water. Even though that sounds crazy. I mean, we would drown. Not that Trevor would. He's got oxygen and everything. But I think this guy knows what's up. And he is about to walk right next to Trevor. Please, 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 please. Oh, yes. He's walking away. He's walking away from us. Get in. Trevor, we might just survive to hide another day. But that was a close one. It looks like he's checking all of the obvious spots, like the thing I did under that bridge, etc. He's leaving. Yes, he's actually leaving. He's facing towards Franklin. If Franklin gets found again, he is going to have the worst luck. Please don't find him. I can see his face. I can literally see his face. Looks like he wants to inspect this bar instead. Yeah, you just do that, buddy. You just inspect the bar and stay away from all of us. How he hasn't found Trevor is actually crazy. But he's looking back at the cave now. Please don't climb on the cave. Please. No, no, no. He's climbing. He's climbing. And Michael is in one of these bushes. Oh, no. No. He shot Michael. <laughs> oh, man. Michael was first to be found, which means he is going to have his car destroyed. Now it is down to Trevor and Franklin. And they're not even that far away. And if Trevor knew where the officer was, he would be terrified. Hang on. I think he's seen something. Oh, no. No. He's shooting at Trevor. Oh, man. Man, two in one go. At least Trevor didn't come last. Maybe another day, Trevor. Maybe another day. Now Franklin is last one standing. Careful, don't move. You haven't won yet. We have to do something else. We have to take out the Seeker with our own fist without dying. If we do that, we win a million dollars. This is gonna be really tricky because the police officer is looking my way. Three, two, one. Get him, Frank. Da, come on, get him. Da. <laughs> yes. Screw you. We win. Franklin, you get a million bucks. As for you, Michael, I'm sorry to say this, but you gotta lose your car. Goodbye. <laughs> this has been Extreme Camouflage Hide and Seek. If you enjoyed, smash like and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, stay awesome.